Bunch of what? You do. You specialize in hauling, or is that in correct? It's incorrect. I'm sorry. What do you specialize in? Well, you calling me. You 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 just yeah, told no, me. You, you, you I, just I told me you have a. What request do you have in? So I have you down as ice dam liquidators. I mean, do you guys not special in hauling or junk removal? What do you guys specialize in? So what do you think ice dam liquidators is? What do you think ice dam is? I have it ice dam, I-C-E-D-A-M. Is it snow removal? Yeah. How is it, okay. how is it related to hauling? I'm sorry, I just didn't know that's what I had you underneath. I mean, we do also have uh, snow removal requests. I can check right now. Um, but are you familiar with Angie Leeds at all? I'm so I do apologize. But are you familiar with Angie Leeds at all? Like seen us on a commercial or anything? Oh yeah, Re very well. All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do right now is just look up snow removals. I do apologize once again um, to make sure that we do have requests. I mean, okay. most likely do. You're on you're out in the 55111 zip code, is that right? Yes. Okay, perfect. All righty, let me make sure we do have requests. Again, I do apologize. All righty, we have a lot of requests. Okay, awesome. Do you do residential and commercial, Demetrio, or are you strictly one or the other? Uh, residential, how many requests do you have? Um, give me one second. So I'm looking within about a five mile radius, not from exactly where you are, of course, but from your zip code. Mm -hmm. The last 30 days, I actually have 192 requests. Okay. Is it under Angie or Home Advisor? Uh, we're Angie Leads. We are powered by Home Advisor. We merged um, almost two years ago now. I did work for Home Advisor um, beforehand. Okay. Now, are you familiar with Angie Leads, though, at all? Like, seen us on a commercial or heard from one of my coworkers? Yeah, uh, I actually have. And how long have you been with the company? I've been here since eight, uh, I'll be here two years in April. I see. Have you heard about FTC complaint that uh, you guys just recently got fined? Yeah, no, I have. I've oh. heard that. Of course I have. You, you, kind you, of you, you, you know that you're not allowed to promise leads? Yes, I don't promise leads. Okay, so why are you calling me if you don't promise leads? Why would I pay you if you don't promise anything? Because I, while I can't promise you leads, I can't promise you that you will land the jobs. Um, while we do send out good leads... So you, you, day, you promise me that I can land the job? No, I'm saying specifically I cannot promise you that. Okay, what can you promise? I can promise you that our service works and I can send you out leads. At the end of the day, I can't promise you the job. The customer, again, at the end of the day, is the one who makes the hiring decision. Um, I cannot stress this so enough. So you, you just me. said that they, you have 192 requests in the last 30 days. What kind of requests are they? Are they ready to buy? Just snow removal. So I'm looking within now a three mile radius of your zip code. I have about 49 requests because 192 is a little bit absurd. Well, um, you, you said five mile radius. It's not absurd. I, I served 25 miles. So why is it absurd? But okay, let's say three mile, 49 no, requests. I'm saying the amount of requests was absurd. Do apologize. Okay, so 49 requests. What kind of requests? Are they ready to hire? Are they shopping around? Are they homeowners ready to buy? What kind I have of residential and commercial work. But what kind of request? Uh, so 49. So you, if you want to sell me 49 requests, how much will it cost me per request? So it depends. And I'm going to get into that. Now, you know, it sounds like you do know a lot about us, but mm. you might not know how we work. So what we do over here more so than anything for our contractors is work like a matchmaking company. Um, of course, that's between homeowners, commercial business owners, contractors. Mm -hmm. So homeowners and commercial business owners, they come to our website because they are looking for the type of work they're, mm -hmm. you know, searching on our search engine. Um, but also they're looking for a pre-screening qualified service pro. And then contractors use us because my main goal as a sales rep is not just to find my contractors the work that they do, but find them the work that they prefer to be doing. Mm -hmm. Also, I like to keep my guys as close to home or business as possible by only targeting the areas they want to work in. The catch with us is passing our background check, only looking for felonies that could affect the customer, um, specifically violence and theft. Um, but it's always been our company's way of putting their mind at ease when you are working around their place. I mean, 
Hopefully that makes sense, right? Yes. Awesome. Then once that's passed, Demetrio, really simple. Um, pretty much begins when a homeowner or a business owner, they come to our website. It's a three to four page application that they fill out. Um, they just let us know, you know, what they need done, where they're located. They give us all their direct contact information. If I were to see it match, the type of work you do, and it's in the area you cover, I would be able to send the customer's contact information to you. But from there, all you would need to do is call these people, set up a time to get the work done, of course, get the work done, and then they pay you directly. So sounds like, you know, I'm not a subcontractor. I don't take a percentage of your earnings. I don't determine the prices of your projects. That's all on you. Now, what I do take is a referral fee, and it's based on the task at hand location of the work. I do have mine pulled up right here, but I would like to learn how much you're typically charging your customers. $500 an hour. $500 an hour, perfect. So based on the kind of work that I have you down for and the area that I have you located in, you're looking at a one-time connection fee ranging anywhere from, and one second while this does load. And how many projects are you typically taking on? Uh, two, three, like per, two, three per day. Okay. So you're looking at a one-time connection fee ranging anywhere from as low as $10. Highest it would ever get would be $55.28. Those higher leads would be for the bigger jobs, specifically commercial work, um, commercial business work. But would you agree that's fair? Well, um, under different business, we tried you before and we were only able to connect with one out of 10 leads you send us. So if you send me 10 leads and I talk to one, that is not fair. Oh, I 100% agree. So if there, that does happen. There's bunk leads, right? I'm going to be with you through your entire career with Angie. Um, I'm not sure how it was when you were with us. It definitely has been changing. Um, but that meaning if there, you know, let's say you get a bad lead. We do fix the problem. I'm your direct point of contact. We would figure out a way to fix that. Now, were you calling these people back right away? Of course. Okay, just making sure. Oh, you are, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save you Go time. Not only I called them back, Home Advisor offered me money back. Like I documented my journey. Yeah. I, I made YouTube videos about talking to sales reps who were lying to me. Home Advisor offered me money to take my YouTube videos down that I, when I exposed you guys and you're still calling me. How crazy is that? If you go on YouTube and you type in Home Advisor, you're going to see my face. Okay. I've talked to 15 ex-employees of Home Advisor who, are to who told me on camera that they have been trained to lie to contractors. Yeah, so I'm not sure when you used us. We have completely changed everything. I have to be very transparent with all of our rules. I don't, I, I, I don't know what you mean by change that. FTC just ordered to pay you $7.2 million on uh, January 24th. You have eight days to pay that to pay that fine. What do you mean you have changed? You have to report to FTC for ten years. You have not changed anything. And by the way, Icedem liquidators used to be on Angel's list because of my YouTube videos. You guys removed me, and you would not talk to your lawyers before you call this number because you would not do business with me. I am Dmitry Lipinski with a Roofing Insights YouTube channel. You guys offering me money to take my YouTube videos down. I've been recording this entire conversation and it goes on okay. YouTube as well. Okay. I do apologize. There's nothing to I apologize. I, I, find a better job. Stop scamming contractors. You're a scam, guys. You're a scam. You, you've, you're scamming thousands of contractors, you know, over and over and over again. FTC going to shut you guys down. You're done. Okay. Well, I do apologize, Demetrio. You know, I'm trying to do my best out here, as I'm sure you are as well. Um, you know, I do hope you have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank you. You too. Okay. <laughs> They're relentless. They never go away. They keep calling me. <laughs> Unbelievable.